The class consists of learning the tick on the exterior of a building. So we can have a fire set interior, but you're on the outside with no heat, no smoke, um, and no interaction of interior components. That way we can get a better overview of the use of the tick and recognition of some thermal patterns uh, from the interior versus the exterior, how to use it during your size up, and how interior conditions can be identified with thermal movement and thermal waves um, before we go in and uh, observe the environment from the inside. So think about this as a front door. You have a bedroom in the back of the house starting to burn. An exterior view with the thermal imaging camera can provide a company officer that's arriving on scene or a safety officer or anybody who is doing a scene survey upon arrival an idea of location of the initial fire room or fire spread by looking at thermal differences or, or temperature differences, the gradient between the actual building, the windows, doors, etc. So if one of the doors or windows is hotter in one area than another one during your 360 walk around, you may be able to identify either the location currently of the fire or where interior crews may want to advance first to assist with removal of victims if they are inside or make a quick attack. So you see the, the, the plate that's on the right hand side closest to the window? Notice it's starting to get white smoke coming out of it? The opportunity for everybody to hold a tick while on the outside of the burn building to look at fire growth and progression and uh, some smoke dynamics and movement of heat throughout the structure uh, is imperative. So the company officers currently are the only ones that get off of a unit with a thermal imaging camera and are able to utilize those on um, in the real world and or uh, have been in the past utilizing them in training. So being able to get hands on with other members, um, assist them in their development and understanding of the piece of equipment to further their level of uh, abilities when it comes to use. So if there is an opportunity to have an additional tick from a district chief or a district captain's vehicle or another vehicle that has an available tick that's not being utilized, they'll feel more comfortable and confident in, the, in that use. They're, they're water resistant. We start off in the same location as the thermal imaging camera and we discuss some movement of fire gases and the different phases of the fire, so from the incipient the, the, or the ignition phase all the way through growth going into fully developed uh, with the, the uh, byproducts of incomplete combustion and how gases are forming at the ceiling and even at low temperatures have the availability to ignite. So before we go into the fire behavior canister, we identify that from the exterior of the building also with some of that tick involvement. Once we get inside the, the fire behavior can, we do the same thing, but now we're in gear on air um, in some of the elements that we could expect to see when arriving on a fire scene. So the students sit inside and are able to go through those same processes of the ignition, watching the fire actually light and understanding how it's growing while we're responding or just starting to get the information in the field from the station level and getting out to the call. Um, once the fire starts to progress through the growth phase, we start to get some fingering and some, some fire movement across the ceiling level. And it's imperative for the students to understand that the heat that they feel, the saturation level, uh, and water applications and, and that they're going to do interiorly on a normal fire um, is appropriate in comparison to their ventilation point versus their fire set and how they're moving through the structure. A lot of his identification, again, of that heat saturation and understanding that if we get to the point where we feel as hot as we do in that can, there's usually an issue inside of a structure fire. The heat that is replicated in there uh, should be the highest amount of saturation or the highest amount of heat that we feel uh, in a residential fire while applying water. So it's a lot of recognition patterns to understand growth, development, movement, and protection of the individuals while operating inside of fire structures. Well, fire behavior, fire behavior, smoke conditions, reading smoke, um, size up of, of structures, building construction, it, it's extremely important to understand as, as a, a, a firefighter in, in all ranks. Um, life safety for us is imperative, obviously, if we're, not, if we're not performing to a level to be strategic and understand our conditions, then we're not really performing to meet the need of the incident, uh, which starts to put us at risk. So being able to sit in a canister and control the environment and allow them to realistically identify, learn, and retain some of that information in the long run could prevent from any kind of 
fire propagation or rapid fire progression uh, and hopefully allow them to exit the structure and or extinguish before it goes further creating any life uh, hazards.